hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel in this video i'm going to share with you two templates for all over print shirts and all over print sweatshirts for t spring now in 2019 a t spring launched all over print unisex t-shirts and uh, sweatshirts and they allowed these two products for everyone there are other specialty products uh, that they uh, recently launched in last year uh, but they only allowed specific uh, contributors uh, but anyway we are now uh, in this video going to focus on these two products shirts and sweatshirts these all over print products and uh, the thing is that they have launched these products but uh, in order to put your designs on these products you have to design them according to some specific templates and that they provide but the problem is that uh, they don't have any kind of uh, easy to find out link to download those templates and um, uh, it was quite difficult to uh, do that but if you dig deep on, on their communities tab and community search these articles uh, you find this article that is teespring launcher uh, launcher file formatting tips and uh, if you scroll down and keep going and going and you will be able to reach a point where you will be able to find some templates and that is here this thing here is where they are providing templates so if you click on this link here you will be able to go there to their google drive and uh, you will be able to get these all over print apparel uh, product templates now these templates are good these are uh, in a psd format uh, but i wanted to enhance uh, these two product templates these all over print shirts and all over print sweatshirts so i'm going to share those templates with you so while in, in this uh, folder that the templates that they provide are, is only for all over print unisex t-shirts there is no template for all over print sweatshirt uh, but they do uh, you know offer this product and uh, when they actually launch this product all over print sweatshirt they did provide a link here upward here where you'll be where you was able to actually download that template for sweatshirt but i don't see any link here anymore uh, but anyway i got the uh, that template i edited it a little bit so that is what i'm going to share with you here the link to these templates actually you can find in the description below and you can download it for free and in return i only ask you to subscribe to this channel so if you find these templates to be helpful uh, just consider subscribing uh, and you know just to uh, help me and that's all i'm asking so when you open these templates and uh, this all over print unisex t-shirt and all over print unisex uh, sweatshirt in photoshop uh, this is what you should see this is the t-shirt template and then this is the unisex uh, sweatshirt template so in the layer panels these two top layers in the t-shirt template are the ones that they marty spring provided so you these are just to check how you what design might appear in certain areas of that uh, design so you can uh, unhide and hide uh, these uh, while saving your template so uh, uh, well bottom here you will be able to see these four layers this this is the background layer which is uh, clearly means that you can change the background color of any design and then there is this color sleeves and color color only and then there is transparent and i'm going to explain it in a in a moment so for example i have this pattern design that i want to print it on you know all over print uh, t-shirt so first of all let's just select a background color you know to see how our design is going to look and if you're wondering um, uh, you know how to create this design i have created a a tutorial based on inkscape in which i created this specific design and you can definitely check that out and i'll put the link in the tag uh, in the card above so uh, definitely check that out so i have for example this pattern and i want to put it on you know uh, t-shirt so this is these this top player is going to show the boundaries of all that now there are going to be three uh, actually four scenarios in this case for example the first scenario is that i want to print this whole thing on the complete you know all over all the areas of the shirt so uh, so this is a scenario in which this design is actually printed in all the areas in collar sleeves and in the main body and on the on the back side as well so this is the first scenario so in that case this is all you need you you, know, you put the design here you check it if it is and you know 
adjust it a little bit as you would like and then unhide the top layer maybe you know just unhide the background layer if you don't want any specific background and if you want to offer different background colors and save it as a png and you will be able to you know put it on the t-shirt and in this way you will be able to select different colors uh, according to your likeness and uh, you know put the design of, uh, on the uh, on the t-shirt and offer customers different uh, t-shirt colors as well now there is a second scenario the second scenario is that when you don't want your design on this color you know you want the color to be a plain color uh, because sometimes the design would not look good on this color side area and you just want to avoid it so in, in that case you want to uh, the color to be a simple plain color so in that case what you would like to do is that uh, you just place this design you know this design that is uh, you just you know put it in this template and you um, you know uh, uh, click on this icon here on on near this uh, folder and you place this design drag it and place it inside the folder now what this does is that it is going to create the color area to be transparent to be you know without any kind of design so you unhide the background uh, actually you hide the background and then you save this as a png template so once you uh, upload this on the t spring launcher you will be able to you know put it in this way and you will get the color color to any color so if you change the color of the t-shirt uh, the color color will automatically apply it and the color color will be just plain color there will be no design on the color now there is a third scenario the third scenario is that when you want the color color to be a specific color uh, and uh, you can change it anyway and most, most of the cases you just want it to be black so in that case this is the layer there we have color color only is will come into handy so you put the design below this color handy hide the you know just and unhide this uh, layer so once you unhide this layer you will be able to get a color on the color area only so if you can view it you can view it here so this will and you can change it it doesn't have to be black you can change it you can select any color from the template itself and the you know design itself but i mostly want to keep it to lag so once you save this uh, design in a png format and upload it on the launcher you will get this kind of design and then the, there is a fourth scenario the fourth scenario is that when you want the sleeves to be same color as the collar and the design to be printed on this main body area only so in that case you put the design below this uh, layer that is the collar and the sleeves and unhide uh, actually hide this one and the unhide this layer collar and sleeves only and in, um, once you do that and save this as a png template and upload it on the T-Spring launcher, you will get this kind of design where the design will be on the body and the sleeves and the color will have a specific color. Now, if you change the color of the T-shirt, uh, the color of the collar and the sleeves will remain the same and you will be able to you know, offer a different variety. So I, I have found that these are the main four scenarios where you might want to you know, create your design in different ways. And you know, it totally depends upon you, how would you like how you would like to see your design on the uh, actual t-shirt now let's come to the sweatshirt template so sweatshirt template is the same and basically uh, you know uh, the top layer is just here to you know show you how your you know, design looks at different certain areas of the ground of the you know uh, actually product again uh, so let's say i have the same pattern here and i want to create a you know a sweatshirt template so i'll put the pattern here above the background layer and uh, you unhide that background and let's change it to uh, you know some kind of viewable viewable error a uh, viewable uh, background and so oh, you can zoom it here at 100 percent click here and you will be able to see the design itself and once you can check if it's uh, you know fills all the areas so if you want your design to be printed on all parts of the sweatshirt you can just uh, unhide the background and save it as a png and upload it on the sweatshirt and it will be printed on every area of the sweatshirt um, you know, on this collar, on, on its cuffs, and, and on its uh, waistband and the main body. But what happens if you want to, you know, uh, you know, uh, keep the color of the cuffs, waistband, and collar to a specific color? So you will put this design inside this uh, folder. So once you put this design inside this folder, all the uh, areas that the cuff areas, the collar areas, and the waistband areas are going to be transparent. So if you save it and upload it on the t-spring launcher you are going to get this 
design so your design will be printed on sleeves and the main body not on the cuffs and the waistband and the cuffs and the waistband will be uh, you know a plain color and if you change the color and want to you know uh, offer a different uh, you know color to, uh, to your uh, you know uh, customers so once you change the color of the product the color of the collar waistband and cuffs will uh, change also according to the color of the main body that you select so this is useful in those cases uh, where you want the collar waistband and cuffs to be a specific plain color not the design thing design product so this is one of the scenarios the another scenario is that when you want the collar to be you know just uh, black or any specific color so you put the design below that uh, cuffs waistband and collar layer uh, you can hide this layer and there is no need for it and if you unhide this one you know you will be able to change the color according to you just click on this change the color as you would like i normally keep it black so if you save it as a png file and upload it on the, your uh, teespring launcher you will get this kind of design where the collar cuffs and waistband will be a uh, specific color that you have selected in this case it's black and if you change the color of your product let's uh, change it let's change this one you know, baby blue type of color baby blue type of design so this the main body color will change but the color of these areas will remain specific to what you have already se selected now this totally depends upon your likeness how you would like your design to be uh, you know printed on these products so these uh, templates that i have just provided you and uh, you can these uh, these uh, you know use these templates in these different scenarios and you know uh, create a variety of different products that you would like to offer your customers and uh, once again, if you have found these tips to be useful, if you have found these tips to be useful, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video. And th in this way, you will be able to uh, help me, you know, uh, show your support to this channel. And uh, once again, thank you for watching.